Alrighty. Okay, that is killer in here. Whew. Flying has a nifty little car, a little Kia. But that other little car there. I told her to make a sign post at the store. She might get a couple hundred bucks for it. I could buy it myself, but it's like, it's even older than this. Like it's a 2000. A little, uh, I think it's a Kia as well. Whatever it is anyway, but uh, yeah. And if it goes for, goes for scrap, like it'll be, um, I don't know, 250 bucks maybe she might get for it. I think I got 240 for my uh, CRV. So obviously that's not very much. So yeah, the cats there. They I saw a couple there. They they weren't moving too much in this heat. One looked at me. He's like, uh, keep it down, buddy. It's too hot. I was gonna go over and pet him, but he's like too far away. He looked pretty melted. <laughs> Poor little, poor little, poor little buggers with all that fur. It's like my brother's uh, husky there. Oh, holy jeez. The amount of fur, like you pet her, it's just clumps coming off. Like you, you could shave those dogs bald, but it's, their hair is just so dense. seems to keep it warm enough but it's like the old old farmhouses where like between the first floor and the second floor you have like a trap door so what they used to do you just close off sections of the house right because a lot of a lot of times they didn't have you know like you know turn of the century they didn't have heating ducts right so it's like you heat this room and that's the room you're in right and maybe uh, the kids rooms and your bedrooms would have some sort of a great vent or whatever maybe some heat might go up there <laughs> but that's how they used to do it anyway so. so anyway getting back to uh yeah so my purchase plan i'm gonna hold off for at least two weeks for most stuff i might order the um the uh what do you call it the uh isolation headphones next week they're going to take about a week to get there so uh it's not like i'm going to be able to record before the end of the month anyway so either 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 it would be nice to have the double bass pedal but i think i'm gonna hold out for the better one you know what i mean like um there's Like everything's priority, right? Like everything has to be done, whatever. Um, and I never have enough money to do it all, so I have to kind of pick things as I as I go, right? And if I do this month right, the cool part is for my guitar collection, like the top priority guitars I don't have yet. Because a lot of them weren't in stock when I wanted them, right? And I'm one of those guys. Ah! <laughs> Same on your side. Holy crap! Freaking come back, drivers! I swear. He was like, he wasn't just on his side. He wasn't in the middle. He was on my side. Yeah. Gotta love it when you come around the. 
delivery truck like that. You never know what you're going to get coming around the corner. But that's why it's always so exciting here. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, oh, hey, I'm about to die. Paychecks that I'm waiting for. They're not big, big, but they're bigger. See, I gotta come and get that metal bathtub. I gotta sit there. Maybe tonight I'll see if I can borrow my dad's truck. And um, I said I was gonna get it. You know, like I don't like to leave people hanging when you say you're gonna do something for them. Until near the end of the month, okay. The advantage to that is I'll know exactly how much of a payment I could put on because August, September are the last kind of like two big payment months. Uh, October on is very, very unpredictable what kind of money I'll have, right? So to go into big debt with this, like, if it was last month, sure, just do it. But the thing is, is to go into big debt, um, you know, like, like everything could just drop off by the end of the week, like the end of the month, right? And it could be like, I like three days a week and, you know, whatever, instead of uh, five, six days a week, you know what I mean? Sometimes seven days a week. But, um, if I know exactly, you know, like that I've, I've covered uh, the minimum monthly payment, the drum, the drum kit payment, and a little extra, if I know I have that covered, then I know I'll buy how much more I can put on the card, right? So that, yes, it'll go up, but you zero out some stuff. Now, if I, if I could put 800 on it, by the end of the month, that zeroes out everything for the month, meaning there'll be not zero on the card, right? And starting at zero, putting stuff on the card is a lot easier because then you, you can, you know, if I throw a guitar on there, okay, even if the guitar is kind of expensive, uh, at least I'll know it's like, okay, well, it's just the one guitar on there at the moment. And I know that you know, like the minimum monthly payments of that will bring it down really, really quick. You know, so if I can pay off a guitar, say, even every three months, get four guitars a year, that's not bad. You know, my goal is 50 guitars, but I don't know if I want all 50 guitars. You know, like, when do you, when do you, you possibly start picking stuff. At some point, you just say, yeah, but like, what am I, what am I buying it for? Am I buying it for investment? Am I buying it for just because it's a shiny object? You know what I mean? Like, there, there's those, those things too, right? So like I have to really, really want something in order to splurge for it. Like the Mark Holcomb seven strings, like those things, it's like they're not going to be in production forever. That's the thing about them, right? So to me, they're worth it to get because uh, A, they're really cool. B, they, um, you know, they're, they're serving. Oh, I just made it. Just made it. They're serving the purpose that I need them to do like for playability yes the shorter scale length guitars are really cool but if I want to play modern metal um, like when I write songs I grab the seven string or the eight string you, you know what I mean and yes it's a slightly more challenging uh, instrument to play because of the uh, longer scale length so you got to work harder shredding to uh, like guitar solos like on my flying V or whatever which is really really cool or on my SG's I can just shred like crazy on those right but when it comes to writing the songs uh, as much as I love my SG's and stuff like that like 
Like that's the, the classic 60s sound. It's not modern metal sounds, right? I know some people, well, the guitar doesn't make that much difference in the mix. It, the, the guitar does. Uh, when you're playing it, you notice it maybe more than what you do in the mix, but it does make a difference. You, 